Hello, everybody, and welcome back to the channel. For those of you who are new here, this is Making It Happen with Mary, and I am Mary. Today's video, you guys, I know you saw in one of my previous hauls, I had picked up the scrub of a certain scent that's been out a couple of times now, and I was very disappointed in that scent because in the scrub, because it did not smell to me like the OG, the way I remember that scent smelling. And what is that scent, pray tell? Saltwater Breeze. Oh, yes. Today, we are talking about Saltwater Breeze. We are going to talk about it in general. We are also going to compare this version versus this. Because I know it's been out a couple of times since then in other packaging. But this was the OG packaging when it came out in... When was that? It came out in 2019. Was it 2019? No, I think it was made. Yes, it was made, the, the bottles, because you can tell by the dates on them on the bottom. It was made in very late 19, but it was actually, I purchased it very early 2020. It was very, um, it was right before the pandemic started. So, but anyway, this is the OG packaging from then. Look at that, see? The OG packaging, which when I got this and I smelled it I was devastated in fact I was mad because let's just start off by saying scent notes on both packages is the same and it's fresh linen violet leaves water blossom and white musk when I smelled this it had much more of a laundry type of a scent associated with it but even when I tested it in the sink and I'm smelling it right now, it does not smell like saltwater breeze. No. So I went in store before I could pass judgment and I smelled the body lotion, the body cream, and also the spray. Thank you, Jesus. Those smelled the same. They smelled exactly like this smells. For whatever reason, the scrub is not smelling like it. I don't know why. It's just not. Uh, like I said, I have tested it in the kitchen sink several times just to make doubly sure. And it does not smell like saltwater breeze. But thankfully, like I said, the cream, the spray in store right now does smell like my beloved saltwater breeze. So let's talk about her for a minute. This scent is just so amazingly different from anything they've put out in the past when it comes to summertime scents sea type of scents we've never had anything like saltwater breeze the spray what i get from this i do not get that linen note that people are saying they're picking up i'm not getting a linen note what i do get is this white musk that's beautifully done with like a water blossom note to me the way i would describe this scent is that you are standing next to the Atlantic Ocean because the Atlantic and Pacific are very different and not just the Atlantic Ocean like in Florida. I'm talking like Maine or somewhere where it's kind of cold still. It's not like get on the beach in a bikini. It, to, to me, it doesn't remind me of that. To me, this reminds me of standing next to the Atlantic Ocean wrapped in a sweater with another with a blanket around me and the, the winds in my face and the, the scent of the ocean is just all around me. And almost like the spray, that salt, where it's when water, when ocean water sprays your face, that smell, that's what this is. Like, I've never smelled something more authentically ocean than this. Like you get that salt component. That is what makes this so unique. Even though they don't list it as a scent note, that salt note is amazing. It's absolutely amazing. I just absolutely love it. I don't get violet leaves in this. I literally get that white musk mixed with just a little bit of that water blossom that kind of, I don't want to say sweetens it, but lightens it up a little bit. It, this almost is like a bubbly type of a scent, in my opinion. Maybe bubbly isn't the right word. More like effervescent, something like along that lines. It definitely is fresh and crisp and gorgeous. This, to me, is one of my favorite scents of all time that Bath & Body Works put out. 
What I want to do, though, is compare it to some other scents. Because, y'all, I did my thing where I troll YouTube and other platforms and was looking at what some of these influence out there are saying that this smells like. And I have thoughts. <laughs> you know, you know me. I have thoughts. I have thoughts on this stuff. One of the ones I actually saw, which I was a little floored, and I think this is the most far out there one, was Midnight Swim. Midnight Swim? No, 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 no. Midnight Swim is Blue Waters, Beach Flower, and Fresh Coastal Air. This is totally different. It's along the same family lines with it definitely being a beachy scent, like a, an aquatic beachy scent, but it's not anything like Saltwater Breeze. This literally smells like you're sitting by the ocean at night and the water's semi-calm and the smell that's in the air in the evening right by the ocean. That's probably why they call this Midnight Swim, but I associate it very heavily with nighttime. I don't know why I do, but I do. But I absolutely love this scent. It's a very awesome aquatic that they have done. I, I don't know of any other scent out there that's like this from Bath & Body Works. In fact, anywhere. I've never found anything quite like this. And when I first got this, when this first came out, she didn't get much love. But let me tell you something. If you missed on this one or passed on it, you really did pass up a good one because she a baddie. Oh, she a baddie, baby. She a baddie. Those blue waters and that fresh coastal air is just gorgeous. It is absolutely gorgeous. It's definitely ocean-esque, very um, deep aquatic. Whereas this is like a brighter aquatic because that bubbly kind of like a effervescent note to it. This is that deep aquatic that almost borderline like borderline tiny bit leans male, but I absolutely love this. It's so good, it's so good. Yes, but is this like saltwater breeze? <laughs> Hell no, it's not. Hell no, it is not. Nope, 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 nope. Another one I heard that was a little out there, but I was like, okay, is Sol Janeiro's Sea and Soul. This came out last summer Was it with a collection, which by the way, they're getting ready to drop, I think it's May 2nd, a new summer line from Sol Janeiro and the little bottles like this. Remember last summer they had the blue, they had tan lines, which they now are naming it, it's, it's out now named as something else. And then they also had the one in the purple bottle. It was like a Taka, an orchid or something like that. Well, this one, Soul and Sea or Sea and Soul is Juicy Citrus and Ocean Musk. No, no. This, you definitely get that citrus note in here. There is a musk note in here, but you definitely can pick up the citrus in here. And to me, that citrus smells like not bergamot, but actually like orange. Maybe even mandarin. Yes, I would associate this more with like a mandarin, ocean-esque type of a scent. Mandarin... Mandarin and musk, pretty much. Because it does have a musky note to it, which is different. I do like this one. It is different. It is not like something they put out from Sol Janeiro. And it is nice. It is nice. It is good, y'all. But I didn't like that the bottles were so freaking fracking little because you can go through them really fast, these little ones. But it is good. She good, yo. I ain't going to, you know, I ain't going to lie. Yeah, she is good. It says, plunge into the oceans and feel the refreshing kiss of sun-dazed rolling waves against your skin with the fresh, juicy scent of sea soul perfume mist. Oh, it has more citrus notes on the back, or scent notes on the back. It has top notes of juicy citrus and tangy starfruit. That's probably what that is. Mid notes of pink pepper and fresh violet and dry notes of ocean musk and white driftwood. Oh, it's done good. That's It's probably the star fruit, but I swear to God, I smell mandarin in this. It's definitely mandarin. But it's good. But is it like this? Hell no, because this doesn't even have a citrus note in it. Like, at all. Not at all. Not at all. 
They're both good, but she is not my beloved saltwater breeze. No, 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 no. It is good though. Now these last two, ooh, now these last two are the ones I thought were the most comparable, but they're still, the one is definitely closer than the other one is. And one, I can, I dug through my collection and I have more downstairs in the basement. And for the life of me, I cannot find my original Dolce & Gabbana's light blue. Not the intense, the original light blue. I cannot find it. So I went, I know I had a dossier version, which their version is citrus green apple. Scent notes are green apple, lime, cedrat, cedrat, uh, bluebell, jasmine, rose, amber, cedarwood, and musk. I did spray this one on this hand because it is a perfume and it has perfume oil. It is close. But the fact that this has like a citrusy note in it, mm -mm. it definitely has that, you definitely get that citrusy note in this, which again, this does not have citrus in it. Yeah, it. it I mean, they're definitely, they could be cousins. Like they could be cousins, maybe Maybe if not first, second cousins, because they are close, but not nowhere near close enough for me to call them siblings even. So I do not believe that Dolce and Gabbana's light blue is saltwater breeze. I don't believe that. What I do think, what I do think, Dolce and Gabbana's light blue intense. This is the intense version. Y'all, this is so close, it's scary. In fact, I'd be willing to say that these are definitely sisters. Same mama, same daddy, sisters, without a doubt. They are so close. I think the only difference is this has a little bit more depth and warmth to it. Just the teeniest bit. Whereas this one's a little bit lighter. Just a tiny bit lighter and more fresh leaning. Just the tiniest bit. But y'all, light blue intense is, I, I would say they, they definitely have the same DNA. And they, like I said, they got the same mama, same daddy. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. In fact, this would layer absolutely beautifully with light blue intense. Gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. Yeah. Yeah. Yo, yo, yo. So, uh, if, if honest to God, if you've smelled light blue intense, yeah, that, that's, that's what I'm going with, y'all. And I'm standing by my statement. Yeah, mm-hmm. Yeah, that is the only difference is this is just a little deeper and warmer, whereas this is just a little bit lighter and fresh. The teeniest bit. And it's only discernible to me because I've been smelling these like crazy, trying to figure out where the difference lies. So, yeah. But yeah, that's my thoughts on that. And I'm standing by it. Like I said, I'm standing by it. Saltwater Breeze is most definitely almost a spot on dupe. Almost. For light blue intense from Dolce & Gabbana. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. That's what I think. That's what I think. Mm -hmm. Let me know what your thoughts are in the comments. Have you smelled saltwater breeze? Do you like it? Do you hate it? Do you think it's comparable to something maybe I didn't list? Let me know. I'd like to hear from y'all in the comments. You know I do. So uh, other than that, y'all, that's all I have for today's video. You know the drill, though. Like, comment, subscribe, and uh, ding the bell so you are alerted every time I upload. And uh, yeah. That's all I got for today, you guys, and I will catch you in the next one. All right, you guys. Bye-bye.